What's up, foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys have given me so far. I really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Now, for today's recipe, we're swaying away from the Indo Chinese and we're gonna be making some traditional alu gobi for you guys. So, without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. All right, guys, so for today's recipe, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be making one pan recipe. And also with that, instead of using the regular cooking oil, we're actually using sarso katel. Um, sarso katel for my non-Indian friends, it's just mustard oil. It has a distinct taste to it compared to the regular cooking oil. So for today's recipe, we're going to be using that. Now to get that traditional uh, traditional taste, uh, that beka swad, um, to get that halwai swad, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and deep fry uh, some potato wedges and deep fry the the gobi. Gobi is cauliflower. We're gonna go ahead and deep fry those, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, um, do remaining of the recipe. So now in sarso katel, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and add my potatoes in there. And after deep frying the potatoes, I'm gonna go ahead and deep fry my uh, uh, my gobi as well. All right, guys. So this is how you want your potatoes to to um, fry. You just want them to look golden fried, and that's it. Now, in the same oil and same kadai, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, we're gonna deep fry our uh, gobi. Make sure you cut the gobi in big pieces like that. Um, if you do cut them finely, then there is a possibility that the gobies are gonna are gonna start breaking. So at this point, once you add gobi in there. Um, what I like to do is I like to do just a little bit of gobi at a time. We just want to make sure they get cooked and uh, turn golden brown and that's about it. So I try to just cook a little bit gobi at a time and then go ahead and once I deep fry the gobi, um, then we go ahead and, uh, and proceed to the next step. Alright guys, so this is how you want your gobi to look like when you're done deep frying the gobi. Uh, you want to try to make sure that you don't overly deep fry them, otherwise the gobi would uh, start breaking you after deep frying you still want it to look like this where it's a little bit golden fried but it hasn't came off the stem so we want to make sure that they're still on the stem it's not coming off of the stem so make sure that we deep fry it where it doesn't come off the stem okay now for this recipe what we're going to do and again as i said we're using the one pan recipe um, now at this point um, what I'm using is I'm going to go ahead and uh, give a tadka of some jeera. Um, this recipe it's mostly going to have the taste of jeera and dhania and uh, all the kara masala. So I'm going to go ahead and use a um, good amount of jeera in there. And again I am cooking on a slow heat. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is... Uh, uh, when I was deep frying, I just used a little bit amount of uh, salt just to cook it. Uh, but at the same time, when I was um, uh, blanching them in the water, uh, the potatoes and uh, and uh, gobi, um, when I was blanching them in the water, I had used just a little bit of salt in there. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add a lot of ginger, um, julians of ginger and uh, pieces of garlic. And at the same time, I'm gonna add roughly chopped chilies in there. Um, the ginger I've made finely, uh, finely chopped uh, julians off them, uh, like that. And then uh, uh, garlic and chilies I've just roughly chopped them, okay? Now we're just gonna cook it just for a minute very quick. And once it gets somewhat cooked, at this point I have about one big onion that's roughly chopped. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in there. And we're gonna let this cook for about a minute and a half. All right guys, so I've let my onions cook for about a minute or so. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add finely chopped tomatoes to them. I've used about two big tomatoes that I've finely chopped in there. Um, since we're not using anything else like lemon or yogurt, uh, this is what it's going to give the sourness to the to the food. Alright guys, so my tomatoes are cooked as well. Now at this point, what we're going to do 
It's, we're going to add just a tiny bit of salt to it. With salt, this sabji, it's very simple. The only thing we're going to add is some dhania powder. Um, dhania powder is coriander powder. And we're going to add about two and a half spoons of, um, of dhania powder in here. Now with that, we're going to add just a little bit of turmeric powder. Turmeric powder is haldi powder. Now when we're using sarsoka tail uh, or the mustard oil, it's already yellow to begin with. It has a lot of lot of yellow color, so you want to make sure that you don't use a lot of haldi. Otherwise, your food would turn completely yellow. Now, I am using uh, Kashmiri chili, which is just for the color. So I'm just going to use about uh, one and a half, two spoons of Kashmiri chili for, uh, for color. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good mix and let our uh, spices cook in the oil. Alright guys, so once your, um, your spices are cooked, once you see the oil is separated from your spices, at that point what you're going to do is you're going to add some kasturi methi to it. Um, since we have already cooked the potatoes and cauliflower, uh, we're just going to add them at the end of the, um, um, end of the spices. Once all the spices are cooked, at that point we're going to go ahead and add them. Now. I am adding ample amount of kasturi methi in there. I'm going to give this a good mix. Um, just get the flavors of the kasturi methi in the masala for a um, very quick 30 seconds or so. Make sure your uh, spices are not, uh, not burning on you. So give it a good mix. Now at this point you can lower the heat of your gas. And then what we're going to do at this point it's we're gonna go ahead and add ample amount of dhania in there so dhania is fresh coriander so I am adding a lot of lot of fresh coriander and once we add fresh coriander give it a good mix make sure your dhania is uh, is uh, incorporated with your uh, your spices and after that we're just gonna go ahead and add our sabji to it Alright guys, so after giving it a good toss, all we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and add our wages to it. Once you add the wages, this is going to be very quick. You want to make sure you don't, uh, you don't cook it too much in there. Uh, we're going to give it a good mix and that's about it. So for this part, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my wages and then I'll come back to it once I have all my wages added and I turn the heat off. Alright guys, so as you can see, um, I have added my wages in there. So my... Uh, uh, my cauliflower and also my uh, potatoes I have added in them um, Now as you can see what you want to do is when you're mixing it You want to be very gentle with it if you're not gentle What would happen is your gobi would start breaking and also your potatoes will start breaking too So be very very gentle mixing them um, And once you're mixing them uh, pretty much this is it. This is the end of your recipe um, It doesn't take that long and this is all it's gonna take and you can garnish it with some more dhania if you want to but guys pretty much this is it all right guys so as you can see the food is ready um, that's how you make um, uh, that's how you make full gobi when you want to make it uh, daba style or if you want to make full gobi um, how it's made at a halwais place um, let me know um, let me know if you guys want me to show you how Gujaratis make full gobi we have a very unique way of making full gobi, which is a little bit different than this. And yes, we don't use sugar in there. So um, the myth that's out there that Gujaratis use sugar are good in everything. It's definitely um, not a true thing. It's it's just a myth. Okay. Uh, yes, we do use uh, use good in our dal, which I'll show you guys very soon how to make a Gujarati dal as well. But for now, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. Let me know what you guys want to see me in my next, uh, see me make for you in my next video. Until next time, thank you so much. Keep liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until next time, see you again. Have a great day.